Hey, if you wanted to know how to remove uh, the blower motor from this 2010 Corolla S, it's uh, it's as follows. So essentially what I did is I pulled the piston there off the side of the glove box and that allows it to uh, drop down a bit. And you literally push in on this side and the inside of the glove box and allow it to swing down in this open, open position. And then you just gently, gently just give her a snug pull off those glove box. So the reason why I took my blower motor out is because some uh, mouse decided to take up residency in the uh, fan. So that was making some uh, noise when I uh, went to defrost the windows there the other day. So what are you looking at here? Blower motor assembly. Right there's the cap for the uh, the filter. And underneath is where the business is. Uh, long story short, it's three, I use an eight mil bolt, or sorry, eight mil uh, socket on a, uh, on a screwdriver thingy. And that's how I pulled it down. I'll show you where they are. So you gotta look underneath. I ended that uh, clip in the back for the resistor there. And um, I just, it's one screw holding that up to the assembly up top. I just removed that so I could just move it out of the way when I pulled it down. Anyways, oh. there's one screw in the back. See that? There's a screw up front right there. And there's a screw in the back. Or sorry, on the right hand side. So you just take those out. You take this. There's a clip there. I don't want to pop it off. I just had it off. Anyways, you take that uh, connector off. And then because it's zip tied, right, right there, I just left it. I just left the wire. It doesn't uh, cause it to, um, it doesn't harm anything by leaving it connected. You just pull the blower motor straight down, the fans right there, and then you whip it out and then whatever you need to do from there. I, I guess if you wanted to take it out all the way and replace it, you'd be cutting that zip tie off, but Reverse process as uh, follows. Obviously, put the motor back up, the three 8 mil bolts, two connectors, and then this is probably an extra step that you don't need to do. It's bolted up like that. It's just one screw. I removed that just to get it out of the way. And then you throw the glove box in, man, and cross your fingers that uh, you get no more mouse. Hey, uh, if you like my videos, uh, thumbs up. Uh, catch you later.